Ken told me yesterday evening a fascinating story about how he went into photography because of, of an illness that happened a few years ago. He was afraid to become blind. Luckily for him, that illness got treated because as we see today on his social media presence, he can still capture everyday photos and beautiful photos. For me, that was an, an interesting story that he had something that happened in his life and that made him uh, very active to become a photographer. This Ken Arula, a completely unknown person, enters the art market now. All what we know is he is a very successful entrepreneur and one of the biggest collector of all things Leica. So we have to look at his artwork when we want to learn more about him. I think that Ken is often shooting black and white because it's more timeless. It feels like it could be shot yesterday or 20 years ago. And of course, Leica has a strong tradition of black and white photography because lots of iconic photos were shot with a Leica camera. We we'll think about Nick Ut with the Vietnamese girl or uh, the famous photo of Che Guevara. And nowadays, everybody is a photographer because everybody has a smartphone. A million photos are shot and shared by social media, but few of these images get the attention of the viewer. And with Ken's photos, because he mostly shoots his lenses wide open, you're attracted to what he sees and, and certain things of a scene. For me, his photographs are from a sunken century, you know. You never can tell, is it from the 20s, a vintage picture, or is it just made three months ago? Only experts can distinguish, maybe they can guess, this is a very modern lens and this is maybe a very old lens. It's very timeless. I think that it's unique to have a book where you have the combination of photos of, of the photographer and also product photography. So we can see what can be done with these unique lenses and how can, as a collector, but also as a photographer, because he's the only person that I know in the world which is in between. Ken Awula gives the people in his pictures a lot of meaningfulness. And uh, he has a romantic view on the situation. I remember a picture from behind. A woman is sitting in a cafe and she smokes a cigarette. And you can see the smoke of the cigarette is collecting all the light of the pictures in the center. And it's very sharp. But then the rest of the picture is very dreamy and blurred. And I like this balance between precisely sharpness from the very good technology and the emotional impact he can uh, express in his pictures. And I'm happy that he can finally share this in a printed way because social media is gone. When you scroll, the photo is gone and nobody goes back to see the whole overview. But now with this book, we have the time to go through it, to hold it, to see it, to read it, and to see the images of Ken how he sees the world and also what are his fantastic collection. This is really artwork. It's not just street photography. It's not a reportage. It's not journalism. It's really art. Mm -hmm.